Hi folks, hope everything's well with you. Hope you're surviving the lockdown like we are. Um, things I haven't posted for a little while because I've been trying to improve my skills on editing. I've never done editing before, um, but I wanted to give it a go to try and um, eventually do some sort of more outdoor videos uh, eventually when the lockdown sort of starts getting relaxed then um, I want to do some videos on our life without a car basically because we don't have a car we've never had a car um, a lot of people are reluctant these days to get out of their cars and actually use public transport and I just want to be able to show people that it's not that hard it's not that not that much of a worry um, obviously at the moment with the coronavirus situation it's a little bit more difficult to do that so um, I'm just well you know in the meantime while we can't go off and go out for the day and do things I'm just trying to um, develop some editing skills somehow so this is my first step stab at doing a video with editing um, so please sort of forgive any clunkiness or um, imperfections as this is a a learning progress so uh you know i'm i'm trying this is a skill i'm trying to learn so uh please bear with me and i hope you enjoy this video bit of walk with us we are in bellevue park which is the oldest park in lowestoft and it's from the research i've been looking up a little bit of research on it and it was first opened in 1875 and it has a couple of really interesting things in it uh, which we will go past as we uh, progress our little walk. This is my little team, Sup. Team Hadley. Want to go look at the pigeons? You'll probably scare them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you want to look at the pigeons? <laughs> well, you know, Even pigeons are fascinating, aren't they, Alex? Even the pigeons are social distancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, come on guys. Right, this is our first point of interest. For you. Yay, <laughs> you. We weren't here last week. <laughs> Suppose you didn't look into this place right before. Um, um well right, I could right have a look afterwards. Here. I was gonna look afterwards actually. Oh, after you well I did I did hear there was meant to be a ghost on the bridge, but yeah. Ghost. No ghosty! <laughs> to the story, guys. I had a ghost. You got a little Lysander. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let, you, let you tell your story. So basically, apparently there was a fisherman and his girlfriend. The fisherman fell off the bridge and you can hear him crying at midnight, apparently. Alright, cool. You can see him right. crying. Not in the middle of the daytime. Alright, yeah, not in the middle of the daytime. So we're a bit late to see any ghosties today. But here we are, we've got... <laughs> A toad on the bridge! <laughs> the ghost goat of Lowestoft. <laughs> right. Here we go. This bridge was presented in commemoration of the Jubilee of the reign of our most gracious majesty, Queen Victoria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> William by William Youngman, Esquire, Mayor of First Mayor of Lowestoft. Impressed. Come on in, guys. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little tree. No, it's not. That's a memorial tree. There's quite a lot of memorial trees. In fact, there's a little, there's a little burial ground just over there, um, which has got cremations in it or something. I'm just gonna like, yeah, take the stuff <coughs> out of my shoe. Alright, okay. You're doing the embarrassed teenager thing, Athena, oh, now. No. <laughs> I literally have something in my shoe. Alright, okay. You literally have something in your shoe. Thanks, guys. A load of sand. How was that sand? When was the last time you went down the beach? <laughs> you were doing secret sleepwalks to the beach. <laughs> I need something. <laughs> you ran away. <laughs> Come on, Alex is getting impatient. He wants to walk. Let's go. Come on, little one. We're going. Come on, walkies. We are going. <laughs> he may be getting tired because it's soon going to be his nap time. So, so I wanted to get him out before 
He went for his nap. Just so you record this video. No, no, it was so that he'd get some fresh air before he has his nap. <laughs> yeah, that's because it's a, na a naval memorial, that's why. <laughs> So where are we oh, up to? No. Appa apparently we're allowed up to an hour's exercise, but I think we'd get so far up the blooming coast of an hour walk. Here we are with all the cannons. You have to split, split that as an hour. It's like 30 minutes walking. Yeah, 30 minutes somewhere walking to walking. somewhere and walking back, yeah. So otherwise you get to have a Yeah, piece. probably. But there we are. Gosh, Alexander! Oh, bang straight into him! Oh. Yeah, well, if I'm filming something, I'm not going to be looking at you, am I? <laughs> yeah, they've got all the names and things on here. This is the uh, Naval Memorial. Quite a channel about us. Playing around a cannon. <laughs> Well, Alexander, you seem to get him home soon, haven't we? Right. Okay. We'll go. We'll go past. We'll go past the cottage and then we'll, and the witch stones and then we'll go home, shall we? Yay! <laughs> okay. That's a good enough. I can collect my eggs. You can collect your eggs. What eggs? On Roblox. Oh, computer games. Yes. I kind of find the royal Why are you filming hard me? to get the <laughs> It's like. <laughs> you know, you have to shoot, and the and is it the realm you have to go in to get the eggs is really laggy. Yeah. So you, you can't do anything. You can't even move. Yeah. You need a really good computer. Yeah. This cottage we're coming up to was built so that um, the park had a keeper that could keep an eye on people's behaviour. Apparently, it's a new one on me, but. Uh, I assume 1875, you'd, you'd have lots of people walking about and nannies walking their charges and people taking the air and everything else. So it must have been quite a quite a novelty to have somewhere like this to come to. So this is the cottage. It's very, very pretty. <laughs> and people still live in it, so that's even nicer. Oh, this is... <laughs> and then further along so it's got a nice little grotto here as well and then further along we've got what's known locally as the witch stones and it's a I'll have to research this a bit more when I get home, but from what I do know, um, it's um, they said to roll down the hill at night or something. Um, but I'll find out a bit more. Um, there's a little sign here, which you probably can't see very well, but it says the Beacon Stones, they're called. These um, are said to be a... Was it? They are said to be the... Warning beacon against coastal attack erected in 1550. Yep, mm. on order of the Marquis de Northampton. So that's quite interesting. But as I say, locally they're also known as the witch stones. So uh, there they are. And there's this lovely big anchor here as well Alex. that's been left here. So that's really nice. And then up there we've got Lowestoft Lighthouse in the distance and that's some place I really really want to visit once we're all allowed to go out properly and uh, enjoy ourselves and that that's open I think every first Saturday of the month during between April and October so hopefully we'll be able to go and visit there at some so point Alex wants to go home yes I think it is time shows. that we go well, that that we went home because this little yeah. person Ooh, fancy bus. So, oh that's a Different bus. That's very posh. You're not in one of them here before. From like. Okay. Right. So I think we've done all we're going to do here, aren't we? And we're going to head home now. Yep. Okay. Yeah, right. So thank you for listening to us and uh, joining us on our. On
Hi, me again. Just hoping uh, you enjoyed our little video. Um, I've subsequently started doing a little bit of research on certain aspects of the park we've just visited. Um, hopefully, I shall do another little video on that and just uh, give you the rundown on the background of the park and some of the features in the park that we talked about while we were there. Um, I mean, yeah, it's not brilliantly exciting or anything. It's just a little bit of local history. And I figured that it's something that I could sort of start investigating and see where it leads me. Um, so I've got several leads as to the um, who you know envisaged the park's creation, park's background um, and everything else, people that were involved in its construction and design. So I'm going to find out a little bit more about the park and from the word go and also maybe um, I've seen a little bit of history on the Witchstones and what their background is, which I thought was quite interesting. So hopefully I shall do another video and share it all with you. So if you've enjoyed my little video, um <laughs> please like and subscribe or leave me a comment tell me what i'm doing right or wrong or whatever as long as it's a nice polite message i don't mind um and i will try and get back to you um so hopefully um i shall get that done and get a nice little um bellevue park history video done and also my daughter and i are going to do um, a little um, Jaffa cake uh, video where we we're actually going to do a blind taste test and compare uh, different Jaffa cakes. I think we've got um, a the, the proper Jaffa cakes, some Tesco ones, and some Asda ones, and we will do it uh, like a blind taste testing thing. Say which one we think's the best, and then we'll find out who the winner is at the end. <laughs> So hopefully that'll be good fun. Uh, it's just just a bit of fun. It's just us doing a taste test and having a bit of fun with it, uh, being stuck indoors. You know how it is. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that too. So like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. And uh, I shall see you soon. Bye.